Previously on the Cat Lady. Okay, I gotta see this. A giant, blood soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. Now that's really stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. That didn't really happen. <laughs> okay, I Everyone just Everyone knows there's no such thing. And now back to the crying. Hello! Sneako B, back with some more of the Cat Lady. When we last left off, I discovered that the freaking identity of the Eye of Adam was that old man, and I felt betrayed. Come on, man. I that old man story, like seriously, I was gonna freaking cry. I was, I felt so bad for him. <laughs> See, but oh my god, man, I could betray me that like that old man, huh? Huh? God dang it. So you know what that means? Susan is totally gonna kill this guy, probably. Get, a, get her battle axe out. <laughs> Okay. Or call our kitties to go and eat him. Here we go. I'm interested to see what the reaction of this. How this guy's gonna act. Fish tank. I don't like the look of that water. There isn't a single fish in the tank. Just look at this door. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Crazy son of a bitch. That's not gonna stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. Jesus. <laughs> Warning! Nuclear material ahead. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. What? It's my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got oh, left okay, in the so world since you, his mama man. died. Damn. But it just wasn't enough. Where is he then? Where's Eye of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look. I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here, and he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. <laughs> All these years, I've looked after him while... Because I gave him food to live. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. What choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. He won't dare to kill his own father. And I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. Okay, what? Whoa. Oh, it's a oh, piece of paper. Or box. Okay. What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. <laughs> shoebox. Take it away! Get rid of it! He must see that I don't have it anymore. Shall we open it? Hold on, I'm gonna go steal some of his stuff here. <laughs> what are you doing? There's no time! Okay. It's a cardboard shoebox. Oh God, I guess Mitzi, not. we have to get out of here quickly. Uh oh. It's a gas mask. He's going to poison us. Ah oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Pop from the fish tank.
Holy shit, man. Dude. This it's fucking too apartment. late! Shit. Oh. Shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What about you? No. No, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I... No. I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you... You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are... She's freaking immortal. Give her the... Give Mitsu friend, the gas Mrs. mask. A. Give it to... Give it to freaking Mitzi. Fuck that. No. You've got a date. And I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! I feel bad for that old guy, though. Sorry, man. Mitzi. Think of a vegetable while I'm gone. All right, Susan, she's okay. <sighs> oh, back here again. Fantastic. Back in the field of dreams. You know, I'm not giving up on Mitzi. All right. Back in the field of dreams. God dang. Time I'm gonna see crazy lady, I guess. <laughs> He's in like constant seizure. She's like, Aah. she talks. Or not? Yeah. That looks like her apartment. Welcome home, darling. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Damn, there nice dark are in here. still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Yeah, I knew it. You are giving up somebody else. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Oh shit. Not this. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. 
Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there, always. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. Huh. But, oh man. Ah. Okay. Left, right, refuse. So if I refuse... Oh man. Let's see what happens if I refuse to. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. I can close my eyes, and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle! It's time to say goodbye, sister. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. No. Tomato. <laughs> You were thinking about a tomato, right? Oh, tomato, not tomato. Hell yeah. Mmm. Tomato Made it out. With fruit, silly. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why Shut onions? Up. <laughs> They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, you're here. Alive, like, if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. <laughs> But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. You are such a nutter, Mrs. A. <laughs> you are absolutely fucking bonkers. Dude, come on, man. I'm, but I'm freaking so happy to see you. Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I knew it. I wasn't listening to that dirty whore anymore. Uh-uh. Okay. This is it. Moment of truth. True. Truth. Trut. You guys excited? I am. Oh man. <laughs> I think it be some just really chubby guy sitting on his computer like, I am the guy I am. Oh dude, I feel bad for that old guy now though. So he wasn't a bad guy after all. Oh man. Sorry old guy. I was wrong about you. Alright. Let's go punch this dude in the face. Seriously. The hell? The people. Pictures of the people. Whoa. You're... You're the Eye of Adam? A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? 
Is this a joke? Do you... Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Can you talk? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something! Anything! Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? What the? How? How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? Uh, I've heard about these. It's a controller. It's the it eye seems about him. the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Uh, controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to. What? Damn, That's dude, it must take fucking forever to type how shit. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. N but... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. Kill me now. Join the dark what? side. That arrogant shit. I will fucking do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? Because I felt like it. Damn, dude. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen shanks. I don't think it's a good idea. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out. As soon as he <laughs> Big flammable sun. Yeah, you we're. You hear me? We're Look gonna at me. die if we do that. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? 
These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Damn it, Mitzi. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? It was pretty obvious. I mean, what did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? Dude, just kick him in the nuts or something, Mitzi. For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. Or snap his if neck I don't or kill him something. Now, Come on. He'll just carry on don't and more innocent gun. people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? Fine. Kill him. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. Killing him is not the way to go. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this? Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Think about this. You really? Jack Think would about want. it for a second. Would Jack really want this? He, this bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Don't do it, Missy. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. That's father, he's harmless. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know ah, this guy's yeah. rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. And he won't Trust be able to keep me. doing it anymore. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants to kill us. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's, That's why he we're not wants you to shoot him. Gas going the room so we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Fuck Remember no. what he said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead. Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead. Dude, you yeah. have Susan to live for, all right? Happy Come now? on. So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. Fuck you. I'm not I'm not going anywhere, Missy. I care about you. Do it for me.
Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. <laughs> From now on, I'm the cat lady. I win every single day. Boom. <laughs> See you later, douchebag. Guy's like, God dang it. Uh, my evil plan foiled. Those pesky kids. It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. I can't think clear. All I can do is cry. I wish I'd never been born. The only thing that holds me back is blah 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 blah. It's not your fault, but that was the past. Give yourself the chance. Move on from here. Just try to stay positive. Hey, I have a whole life ahead of you. No one else I know has to deal with this kind of pain. I told myself from when I was little I'd never kill myself. I feel terminal on my sickness. It's killing me, but it may as well. It's not killing me, but it may as well. They're all here for you to help you. To try to release some pressure I self harm today for the first time. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. Oh my god! <laughs> a different color from black and white and red. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep waiting and when it'll hit me it'll hit me hard oh my god look how pretty the sky is it's the first time in this game it hasn't rained been overcast But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. I was the grave And speaking of Mitzi, child well, I don't know what happened. I guess I never will. But against all odds, she just got better. Oh Maybe hell it's yeah! Because of that last candle, or some other things I did that year. I don't really care. She's still here. That's all that matters to me. Every time Hell I visit yeah. my daughter's grave, she comes too. We don't have to talk. It's just nice to have somebody there with me. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. You open up your heart. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> you go, Susan. You fucked me. All those people up, and you came out the other side a better person. You got Mitzi, every, all the good people are alive, except for that old guy. I still feel bad for that old guy. Although he did provide that uh, eye of Adam with the shit, so. I was gonna say. Oh my god. You got the good ending. I'm guessing this is a good ending to me, alright? Damn. This game was 
awesome. <laughs> this game was fucking awesome. Seriously. Oh, no way, Dr. X and Eric were the same. Hey, no wonder Eric was the douchebag. the same voice for the same guy. Jesse Gunn, Joe Davis. I liked the music in this, too. This was, it was really... It was well... Yeah, the, the songs were really appropriate for every scene. <laughs> the dog lady. Arch rival. Oh, man, this was this was truly an experience. I, I thought this game was sort of gonna be like one of those just kinda like scary games. Um uh, you know, I don't know. I I was expecting it to be more like a horror game, but it really was it was more just like a, an experience and adventure. Well, put together story, you know that. And I was engaged all the way to the end. There was a ton of dialogue, and you know, if, if the story wasn't so engaging, I'd probably been like, "Oh my god, just shut up!" But no, it was so good. And the voice acting, the guy, the people you picked to do voice acting, were great. Um, all the set pieces and everything I put together. I, I don't know how you did that. You took a bunch of photographs or something and just kind of put them together. I mean, the characters are probably things that you probably do yourself. Um, you know, and there weren't any, like, super difficult puzzles. I mean, for the most part. There were a few spots where I got kind of stuck, but usually that was just me, like, like oh, of course, this is the thing that right in front of me I should have done. It's just such a, it was a great story. Very uplifting. You know, at least to the good with the good ending, and I'm sure the other endings would have been probably like, everybody died. The end. <laughs> Poem River by, written by Azaneska Sirigala. Press any key to live. <laughs> and the game closes. Ah, oh, press any key. Now go. Take what you've learned from this adventure and go into the world. Thank you, cat lady. I'm off. <laughs> and then my phone goes off. <laughs> my people need me. <laughs> Blast through the ceiling. That was awesome, man. Uh, well, well done. I uh, I haven't enjoyed a game this much in a while. Like, I mean, I've had, yeah, I've, I've, I don't know. I I think the story on this one really is what just shined and it was it was great I I enjoyed every moment of it oh I think the probably my favorite moment though was still the when I put on the gas mask and had that shotgun shot that old lady she jumps out of the tub like some kind of fucking ninja just like comes out the shotgun to the chest it was like the matrix <laughs> oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this playthrough as much as I did um he also has another game uh, called Downfall, and that actually focuses on Joe. Maybe we can see why Joe went so crazy, and why his wife got so morbidly obese. <laughs> Here, honey, eat this cake. Mm. No, I'm not hungry. Eat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I'd be curious to figure that out. But I, based on this game, I think I'm. I'm definitely would like to give that one a try. So, you might see that one coming up here in the near future. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video and this series, subscribe now to Hot Boy the SLP. The days are always sunny and the vids are always funny and the freaking crazy people are always fucking crazy. Dude, remind me never to. Damn, that like apartment, that one apartment had like three killers in it. God dang. And Dog Lady, I mean, that's just. Uh, just crazy. Crazy people. 
And if you guys have any uh, suggestions on maybe what I should play next, I, I mean, I, I said downfall, but you know, uh, I'm open to other suggestions as well. So let me know. Anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy.